Oh, hello, everybody, and welcome to a, another week of bad. Um, today I'm versing Reggie Decky. Um, and friggin' this doggo is going to be annoying to deal with, that's for sure. Um, trapping abilities are banned, so don't need to worry about Shadow Tag, Gotha Tell, but it's still going to be annoying. Um, and it was a while ago that I prepped, so I can't remember what I brought for what reasons. <clears throat> um, I did not make the changes on the Polyrath that I was going to. Rain Punch would have been good, but Circle Throw could be interesting as well. Um, Air Absorb's not going to be super useful. Uh, <clears throat> Terra Target is going to be Oranguru because Fairy Tart is pretty decent into all of this overall. Um, I just want to lead with the Bastiodon though. And slash looks good too. Maybe I just lead Polyrath. I don't really need it for switching in on any of the water types. Because it was mainly for Omastar, I believe, which didn't even come. So. Um, let's believe that. Let's see if we can get some toxics out. Noon, dark type. I don't think. An update is um types uh on some of his mons I guess. Anyway, I'm just chuck a toxic out. I think party shots. Maybe I should have substituted, but that's fine. Toxic on the houndstone is perfect. Hmm. Sub on it. Just wear it down with the toxic, which will be very nice. That's fair as well. Um, what have we got? Will o Wisp Roar. Rock a rock. Could come in. I mean, I'll just go for the Volt Switch anyway. He probably has to be worried about Dazzling Gleams, right? <clears throat> I probably need to put my team into the Calcs. I, uh jump straight into this without doing that, that's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Maybe the rock. rock. Yeah, like a spec Dazzling Gleam, if he wants to bring that in on the Dedene, is no, do a lot. But, uh, I mean, look, it's... Uh, it's 
do a decent amount to this houndstone as well, actually. So maybe I just go for that no matter what. Uh, what's he wants to bring in on this? Uh, carving, maybe? Yeah, carving. Um, all right. And on the carving, I guess I can go Bastio. Makes a lot of sense, but... Then it could be power. I'm not necessarily doing a lot, depending on what its stats are, but Do I just go for the heavy slam or do I go for the iron defense here? I'm faster than it. Do I go for the magic coat if he wants to spike again? Heavy slam. Alright, Bastiodon vs Crocorock. I mean, switching in a Crocorock on a potential body press is quite crazy. I mean, I am sturdy. So I'd probably just go for the body press here, right? All the berry body press did what sixty one percent to crocker rock, so it's probably Eevee lighted uh, with some HP investment. Um, looks like it could even have some defensive investment some defensive investment. <clears throat> um. Think except for the mischance poltergeist is pretty well, I guess it could go into Lula Noon on that right, but I guess I'll just go for the horn leech, it's the safest. <clears throat> Um, so definitely getting some hazards up, but Sand Slash can rapid spin those out. <clears throat> and Houndstone's looking pretty low. Arbink's taking some damage. The noon. I mean, I think I just go for the Drain Punch here, right? Go for a Dark Move. I have my Colba Berry. Houndstone probably comes in here, I guess. Yeah, 
there. But, I mean, even... Even at minus one, minus one, a poltergeist is going to hurt here. If I hit it. And it's not like I particularly need Trevenant. Maybe for the Gothic Tale it's useful, but... Um, I think I can just switch into Dedene here and just start bolt switching now that uh, Rocker Rock is gone. Well, this doesn't matter to Dedene either. Uh, so I can bolt switch and probably go into Sand Slash on whatever comes in. Rapid Spin, get rid of the hazards. I think. And Houndstone could come in on the rapid spin as well, but uh, if it does, I can just go for a knockoff. It does come in. But that's fine. Don't necessarily care if Sand Slash gets a burn on it. Revenant would be a bit more annoying to have a burn on it. Don't knock off, do 21%. So yeah, it seems to be like a max defense. Let's go back into Dedene. Oranguru comes in. I'll just go for the skill swap here, see if I can get the fluffy off of it. It's just going to roll me out, that's fine. <clears throat> Definitely still need to be worried about um, Taria. Uh, I think I'll just go for the podcast here. We'll always uh, cancel out the leftovers there. Um, two twenty. So I mean, I guess I just bring Bastiod on in here. The heavy slam. Okay.
And I should have got the toxic on this arm. Huh? Um, and like, depending on how fast this thing is, it's going to be rubble. Um, I don't think I can afford to hold the terror for Oranguru now. Um... What's the tell? It's Trevenant. That's obviously at this one special attack used Sky Shock. Uh, it did sixty percent to my Trevenant. So it does look like it could be timid. Probably that means it's probably going to be pretty fast. What did my Terra Fairy type? Poltergeist did 49.2. Uh, what did my Poltergeist do to it? 48. So if that was a high roll, If it was a low roll, it'd be a hundred. So what's it going to be speed creeping? Five. I mean, it could be speed creeping the Oranguru, but it could also be speed creeping the Sand Slash, which is speed creeping, I think, outspeeding something at plus one. Um, either way, I just go for the liquidation here. What do I go for the... Holy Wrath, Terra Steel, and Circle Throw. Just... Steel liquidation that covers me. I think maybe I just liquidation. Then I go into Sand Slash and Terra Steel.
Uh, damn, I should have subbed. Okay, now I Terra Steel and Liquidate, I think. Do I sub? I think I sub, hope for the focus blast miss. If it doesn't miss, then I liquidate. And that's fine. What did my Dazzling Gleam do to the carving when it came in last time? Over, so I don't need to worry about a cast out berry here, just like cast out explosion finishing this off or anything. Um Gleam did 28%. Okay. I mean I think I just go into the Dene after this and just start dazzling gleam. Hmm. Um, two eighty four. Guess if this is scarf, this could still be dangerous. Um, do I circle throw thinking that it might dragon dance? See, this is what I needed the Terra Fairy for, god damn it. Um, And Splash vs. Altaria. Earthquake. 19.6. I think that's going to be in range after the Stealth Rocks. Definitely, if it's offensive. I wish I was a bulkier variant. No, I should live anything. It's not a crit. So I can knock off just to make sure it's not Scarf. Yeah, 
Damn it. Um. Damn, I should have just gone into the Dene. God damn it. Hmm, I can't mind. I think I have to. This at plus two, plus two. Sword power off here. Good kill it. Um. Blast, but knockoff will kill me. Mm. And it is Toxic Orb. What's that knockoff do? 40.7 and either. Mm. I mean, it's going to be an offensive variant, right? Then I, I mean, Dazzling Gleam should kill it here. Ah. Does Quick Feet speed up if it's... Oh, okay. <clears throat> I thought Quick Feet was um, oh no. Okay. Damn. That was uh, a very close one. Rick. Dragon Dance. Uh, that Gothitelle definitely hurt me. Um, <laughs> mm. Damn, well played, Reggie. Uh, Decky. Oh, very frustrating um, that I lost like that, but yeah, I mean, I should have expected Houndstone to come in on the rapid spin. I should have just knocked off at that point, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if that would have really changed much. Um, needing the two mines in front of the Altaria. Um, worrying about Altaria being Scarf was definitely a problem as well. Because if I just 
yeah, not knowing that Altaria's item was kind of sucky because I could have just gone into to Dene in front of that. Um, and then I could have could have won at that point. But what can you do? I uh, yeah, I mean I should have should have probably risked that. Who knows? Who knows? But I mean We'll, we'll know if we, if that comes up in uh, playoffs, I guess. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all later.